going this Saman here from all things PT and in this video I'm going to share with you guys some maintenance rotator cuff workout that I do before any kind of push day a lot of people that go to the gym work out the chest work their back out and they do a lot of heavy bench presses and shoulder presses and stuff like that however a lot of people fail to train the smaller muscle stabilizer such as rotator cuff and what happens is if you train big muscles a lot but don't focus on the smaller muscles slowly but surely you are bound to have an injury this workout is to prevent it and in this video I'm going to cover uh, upper body and in the next video I'm going to cover warm up for specifically for the lower body okay so this is going to be more of a t-spine chest and your rotator cuff exercise so we have five of them and all you need is going to be a foam roller, some type of resistance band, and light dumbbells, okay? So we are going to start off with some uh, foam rolling just to open your thoracic spine. And you're gonna get that bench tucked away for a minute. And you are going to go and do some foam rolling for the th to open the thoracic spine and the chest a little bit. And you're going to put it obviously on the upper back, right? But the biggest mistake I see a lot of people do is they do something like this and that just puts a lot more unnecessary pressure to the lower back. So you don't want to do that. You want to kind of bridge up, pull that belly button in towards your spine and try to keep it there. Okay, that way you are also activating your core during your warm up. Just want to roll back and forth with your elbows across like that for the first few reps and once you start to feel better you can put your arms up again don't let that belly button go and roll back and forth and you're and once you find the spot you're just going to be in that position okay and then you're going to take a deep breath in and out through your mouth in through the nose and out through your mouth and then you are just going to maybe roll just a tiny bit and then you just can continue do that until you feel a little bit looser on your upper back but don't obviously overdo it okay let's go to the second exercise now time for some band work you're going to hold the band about a shoulder width apart okay and all you're going to do is sit up straight pull this guy out Hold for a few seconds and relax. Again, pull and relax. You should be feeling some type of muscle burn in, in your rotator cuff as well as shoulder blade. Again, hold for a few seconds. You'll just do 10 times of that. And you can do more if you can tolerate, okay? And a lot of people, what they will do, they will do start doing something like that. It's effective, you know, it's not like you'll not, not get any results at all if you do that, but not the best way, okay? So keep your elbows cl as close as you can tuck towards your uh, trunk. Oh, I didn't count, but I'm pretty sure it's at least 10, right? So the next one you will need a bench okay and these are so that exercise is specifically for your uh, infraspinatus and teres minor and so is this one but we are just working on a different planes okay so the key with these exercises are don't go super super heavy on these what you're gonna do you're gonna pull your elbow up at about 90 degrees or so you don't have to get it measuring angle thingy and do it so here hold squeeze your shoulder blade and you're gonna pull it up just like this make sure your neck is relaxed as you do it you can even come back a little put your hand like this i just don't want my cameras i mean the mics to be blocked <clears throat> Okay, so this one too. Um, squeeze your shoulder blade together. 
what we don't want is this or a stringing okay so sure blade lock <clears throat> since you see how I'm not resting I'm going from one exercise straight to the other Squeeze nine and ten now you're going to go on your lower thraps so this is 90 right this position is straight other straight or you're going to go somewhere in the middle to really work your lower trapezius which is really responsible it's just going to lift you know really responsible for turning rotating your shoulder blade They're really crucial if you don't want any shoulder pain in the future <coughs> Squeeze your shoulder blade. And you should be really feeling whew, in your shoulder blade, more the lower portion, okay? If you feel somewhere else, change the angle, figure it out. The where should you feel is oh I can't even reach. Okay. Up top right there. So to the other side. Two one. Two. Let me see how I'm changing the angle. Ah, four. Just to see. One tap. Just to see how. Which angle is the best. I mean. Everybody is different. It should be. In the middle. But. That's what the textbook says. But feel free to play around. And. Nine. One last. Then don't swing the weight. Ah. Should be doing this for two sets of 10, but just for the sake of video, I'm going to do just one set, okay? The other one, we are going to do, so that was what? One, two, and this one, one, two, three, and then one more. And so for that, you need a dumbbell. Now this looks like a bench press, but it's not okay keep your elbows straight this way like this and all you're gonna do is punch the ceiling okay so down punch the ceiling up and down squeeze your shoulder blade on the way back punch six seven eight nine ten okay reach 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 don't bend your elbow keep your elbow straight okay this right here is only a 10 pound it's enough again the bigger weight you use the bigger muscles it's going to kick in so we want the smaller muscles to work not the bigger ones so okay keep your elbow straight and up up, up, reach, good, keep your elbow straight, okay, so what we did, okay, let's recap, we started off with the foam roller to open up your upper back, right, and we used your hands up just to stress that pec minor, and pecs a little bit, and pec major a little bit, and then we were here, that's the second one. We went out, squeezed the shoulder blade, again working on the infraspinatus, and to reach minor. Then we, then we went on your stomach, and did this motion, right, very crucial, because this down right here, is what's going to, when you're going, when you're lying on your stomach, and doing this, that's kind of actually mimics this motion, right, where we press your, press the shoulder blade up and stuff like that okay it mimics this motion um and then we did your lower thraps that's your fourth one okay and then finally we ended up with the serratus punch so five exercise two sets of ten back to back takes less than 10 minutes really good you know maintenance exercise for your rotator cuff for your upper back uh to really prevent those unnecessary injuries you know because a lot of people don't injure their shoulder i mean don't work out their rotator cuff their posture muscles they do a lot of heavy lifting there is a discrepancy in a bigger and a smaller 
muscles leading to injury. It's as simple as that. So make sure you can prevent it before you have to treat it. Okay. That's it for this video. I hope you liked this. If you did, please make sure you click the like button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. And yes, subscribe.